Hi, today we are going to draw a galactic cat. I'm in my hometown, so I don't have much of a setup. So I'm doing a screen recording here. First we start by drawing a loose round shape. Adjust it and fill it with the colors. By the way, all the colors are provided in the description. Next, we draw a freeform selection. Once the selection is done, I'm ready to put some more color. The color I'm selecting here is orange. Once I fill that shape and by applying the alpha lock, next I will go to the Gaussian blur and blur it a little bit more. So this will give a smoothing and soft effect. Once that shape is done with the colors, I am ready to put some more shapes. By the way, I am doing this cat by bringing different kind of shapes at different point of time. So this time I am doing the ears. Once both of the ears are done, I am placing them on different parts of the head. Once done, I am adjusting them and then I am going to draw the body. The same process continue as I did in case of the head. Once the body is finished, I'll take some different color in the palette and then take a big brush and then draw along to create a small smooth soothing gradient. Once the gradient is done, I'll adjust the order of the layers and put them in the proper location and continue with the rest of the parts of body. I'll continue with the hind leg. Once it is done, I'll arrange and then continue with the next legs or the front legs. In every drawing, just keep in mind, I'm turning on the alpha lock in the layers so that the colors don't spill out. I'll continue doing a duplicate of the same leg and create the illusion of the front leg and which is on the other side of the body. Once done, I'll change the layer order to keep the proper form and shape. Next, I'll draw the tail and fill it with the same different color from the color palette. Just keep in mind, choose random colors and don't be afraid to experiment. Next, I'll create the different parts of the different stripes of the body. I'll be applying masking technique. So what is masking technique? Depending on all this information, I'll be bringing a video very soon. So for now, I just masked it out and made the stripes. Next is time for the eyes. So I'll keep two shapes and fill them with black. Duplicate the layer to create both of the eye. Transform them and move apart to create the eyes. Once the eyes are done, next I'll move and create some shape of nose and fill it with a color from the given color palette. Once all these shapes are done, I'll select them all and group them and name them a cat. So we are done with the cat for now. Next it's time to create the galaxy or the nebula of different colors. So for this, just go forward and experiment with the different colors which are provided in the palette. For now, I'm choosing different kind of peanut shape and filling them with different colors. In all the cases, just don't forget to turn on the alpha lock. So continuing with different colors, I'm going to fill them and make different illusion of the nebula. So I'm just fast forwarding this video for some time and you can see the things in making. Enjoy. Once these things are done, next I'll be changing the layer mode to experiment a little bit more, creating an illusion of transparency. Once I'm satisfied with the different layer modes, I'll just take a big brush and erase some part of the nebula structures to create some more illusion of depth. To keep in mind, we have kept all these nebula structures in different layers. So once we erase, the others don't get affected. Once it is done, we group them and name it a layer called nebula. We put the cat layer on the nebula layer and then adjust the structure of the nebula group to make it fit with the construction of the cat. 
Once it is done, next I am using my personal favorite ABA star brush to create the small starry structures all around. By the way, the star brush is included in the description. You can go ahead and download it. Once the brush is used, next I am going to create a small circle and adjust with it with different colors, just keeping the alpha lock on and creating the illusion of small planets. I am copying the different parts, these planets, to create the depth of near and far by varying the structure or the size of this planet. I will do some adjustments of the hue saturation to create an illusion of differentiation in between themselves. I am also creating a gaseous structure like the Saturn to give some more edge to this particular planet. Once this is done, our galactic cat is ready to rock. I hope you like the whole video and please comment what you want to more, learn more. Thank you and let me know how you enjoyed the video. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.